One of the things that I, I think has depressed me most about our political system in the last decade or so has been the incredible partisanship. There's nothing wrong with people fighting about issues and having different views about them and arguing vigorously for their point of view, but opposing a point of view simply because it's the point of view of the other party, right? That's bad. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal and they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. The right to life for the embryo, but not right to life for the living person, unless they're American and they're white and they have a lot of money. Those are my values, moral values. We don't have to do anything but look right there and see how far the morals have dropped in this country, do we? actually see Russia from land here in Alaska. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. It's a brilliant, am I, I'm not joking. We're headed towards 20, 30 years of incredible chaos and turmoil. On Iraq, on the economy, on healthcare, on uh, global warming, there's no real uh, issue where the parties agree. I mean, the distinctions are huge. This is where the real people live. These are the people that are connected with the everyday people that make this country work. Barack Obama um, needs to return to Illinois in the Senate and get some experience and get out and live in the real world for a few years and get out of that elitist conclave. They call uh, Barack Obama an elitist and they pretend that the Republicans are on their side. Cindy McCain, her heartwarming story when she was a kid is she helped her dad pick out a several hundred thousand dollar fountain in front of their mansion. John McCain spurned one establishment but ended up ironically embracing the other, which is the cultural conservatives, no question about it. The Republican Party understands better what's in the Bible than the Democratic Party? They demonstrate it better, yes. There's no reason to kill an unborn baby. God wouldn't want that, Republicans wouldn't want no. that, and... No. Do Democrats want that? Um, it seems like it is. John McCain, like he's a real guy, you know, he's had a real life. Don't think he eats arugula. <laughs> I've seen him do hot dogs and hamburgers, but not arugula. This is the Huffington Post Oasis Lounge. This is a chocolate smoothie, but a healthy chocolate smoothie. It's got soy milk, a raw, organic, fair trade cacao powder. Everything that's happening out in the world today is happening because there's a sense of an us against them, this sense of otherness. You guys are under attack and you're responding with kindness. It doesn't work. I mean, you're in the heat of a battle. To win this race, above all, Obama needs a sword and a shield. The shield, which is secondary, is to fend off with vigor and strength the attacks. But the most important thing is the sword. Stand up, stand up, stand up and fight. America is based on ideas. We have enough intelligence now to remove radical poverty in all parts of the world. The trick for the future is to find ways to recreate what used to be called the vital center. One question that I think it's always useful to ask is, if I'm so sure I'm right, how come she's so sure she's right too? There's always the possibility to make change. The big part of democracy is being the leader yourself. 